Let's get right to it. Here is the headline in the Washington Post on Tuesday about the Washington Post. The paper has a new owner, billionaire Jeff Bezos, the <laughs> Amazon.com founder and CEO, buying the newspaper for $250 million. That's a good payday for the Post. Uh, some called it a fire sale. Big news for the paper. But uh, what kind of news is it for the newspaper business? Uh, let's get to our questions right now. What what does this say about our newspaper industry being bought up by Jeff well, Bezos, I mean, the, the cliche, Washington Post? It's a cliche that uh, print media can't survive this digital era, and so therefore it's kind of fitting that a digital operation like Amazon uh, takes over. But I, I think that uh, we haven't really begun to think through all the consequences of mm -hmm. this. I mean, Merrill Brown, who's sometimes on the show, uh, said to NPR, look, you got to understand, there's now an iron triangle emerging between the National Security Agency, Silicon Valley, and the media. They're all kind of connected now, and I think that uh, is kind of ominous. So, Judy, what kind of concerns do you have about this? Is it ominous? Look, I think that individuals who have certain agendas or want to do certain things with newspapers buy them if they have the money. That's been a long-standing tradition. And how all of a sudden one family becomes legendary aristocracy in the print business, I, I think that Bezos said what he had to say. He said, there's going to be change. But I'm going to stand by you if you're courageous, and we're going to be courageous enough to do two things, to get the second source to wait, and second of all, to make sure that we go after the next Watergate. He didn't use that word, but that's what everybody's worried about. But this business of only a wealthy old family can own a newspaper, I don't, I don't share that view. Ellen, what about you? Well, I think how we consume media has changed, but has the content changed? And I have to say, Politico's Eric Engelman uh, said that, listen, he, this uh, Bezos is customer-centric, he's into metrics, and he's into delivery, and that is what he's going to try and change at the newspaper. Jedediah, how do you think the reaction would have been if the Koch brothers had bought the Washington Post? Oh, it would have been a very different story. In fact, you know, the folks at Salon and the Huffington Post were already saying, oh my gosh, this, thank God it's not the Koch brothers. And I think it was interesting to see the media react so positively to this. Real clear politics, political. Everywhere I looked, everyone had something nice to say. There was a lot of glorification of the Graham family. There was a quote from Real Clear Politics that said they relinquished the newspaper they love in order to protect it. They, we, they wanted to talk to us about their family. And I think it would have been very different had the person who came in to buy this publication not been ideologically consistent with the Washington Post already. This is a guy who's donated to a lot of Democrat candidates. He's been labeled a libertarian. <coughs> I, I beg to differ. But I think there, there was um, security in that the Washington Post will remain the Washington Post, and the media is really comfortable with that. Hey, Rich, you're out there in uh, Los Angeles. How, how does this matter to people outside of the Beltway, and, and certainly you're way outside of the Beltway? What does this really mean to them? Well, I think like the Washington Post or the L.A. Times, all newspapers are really beginning to lose readers. And one of the reasons why they're losing readers is because conservatives have decided that they don't have a fair shot with so many of, the, of these reporters. Political reporters are killing journalism. Jeff Bezos needs to understand that if they want to bring back more readers, then do real journalism. It's not rocket science. R uh, conservatives will come back and start reading the Washington Post if they just give us a fair shot and go after this president who is right now running our government and yet you know we've got a Washington Post set of reporters who are not going after the president.